I don't know this card draft Jimmy. Uh, but yeah, okay, game one already. Uh, Rob, really interesting projectile game. He has what I always call the Beyblade, the spinner. Uh, can charge it up, and it's really strong stun move. It's like, not a whole lot of stun, but it's like, it's good. It's basically a Falcon laser in a sense. You can throw it slow or fast, and it covers a lot of ground. Because it's still a hitbox when it's out spinning on stage. I Overall, his hitboxes are really strong. He has three dashes with his up B, side Bs uh, in total. So basically, that's him. And he's kind of like Mark with his forward air and down air. But they, you can combo it that way. Not particularly as strong as Mark. Yeah, the point is he's got like, some of the long started time with those there and the wall air that Rob gets. But it's covering really, really well. But Reaper is not really impressed right now. Yeah, he doesn't look phased whatsoever. I mean, barely 50%. Sheik oh, nice. is a very solid character in this game, I would say. Very melee fight. Extre well, okay, very extremely melee character. Wow, nice! N that was Dacus also. Oh, yeah, that was really beautiful. Also, one other uh, technique that was in Brawl, uh, that was also, it is also in melee, but not really as strong as in Brawl, the Glide Toss. And it's a huge tool for Rob. You can see Athanas using it. Oh, wow, what a sniper! Nice neutral beam. So yeah, the glide toss is like throwing an item like while doing an, uh, an air dodge and you slide doing it. I don't know exactly how it works. I can say maybe you know more you know more than, than I do. But well let's talk about it maybe later. Yeah. So right now we're seeing like still looks pretty good for uh, Reaper actually. Like the cool thing about Sheik in this game, besides you know everything working pretty much the same as a melee, her down throw and back throw or like mix-up throws, because the back throw kind of works like the a down throw, like the NTSC down throw, where you can't go anywhere, but that's only with no DI. But because the back throw also locks him in position for an easy aerial, like you saw right there, that was really close. Uh, she has two throws that lead him to kills, and that was super unfortunate for Alpha Dash right there. No more no more charge, no more side B, no more B. Like you said, he got three charge that he got to use between his side and the B. No more. Then you fall down. That was a tiny wave bounce, by the way. <laughs> nice take right there. I feel like Alpha Dash has to put out a lot more projectiles. Just to keep Sheik from getting in. Because, like, she, as with every game, like, she has so easy ways to, you know, get combo started, get the percentage. And in this game, she can get killed fairly well. Ouch! The neutral air, even if it starts slowly, is really strong. Reaper is really patient. I used to know him like more flashy, more getting into it. But you can see like he's taking some space. He's taking some space. He got his time. But nice upper on Al for from Alpha Dash. I basically think he probably took a note from Zen. In that sense, yeah. Can't I don't but think you want to rush in against Rob either, so. As simple as like that. Get it from the edge. Yeah, this Reaper is doing a hell of a job just keeping center stage and not letting Alpha Dash gain any ground when he gets back on stage. Yeah, Reaper is really not impressed by the Project Hill games. Like, if there's a, the, um, the spinner just in front of him or anything, just wait, see what Alpha Dash can do, stay in this shield and just react always. It's like staying like as close as he can, not too far, to be able to react like that with those uh, shield drop. Up, shield, counter-attack. Getting on the platform, seeing he's coming back, falling on him. George controlling, I think it was on that back here. Back through up smash, really nice. And he was waiting, not even chasing him, just charging his needle. Yeah, but as you saw, that's what I was talking about previously with the back throw. Being a mix-up throw uh, as with the uh, down. It seems like uh, Rob gets some trouble to like fight people on the platform while he not make them fall on them because Reaper is always playing with those and AD like staying a lot on the ground. So I wonder like he needs to finish this off right now. Or Oh yeah, that's too weak. He needs the up air, like mid mid height I think. <laughs> he stopped the spider with those needles like completely no you won't throw it to me. Oh maybe yes That could have been amazing. Wow that was really close and the controller takes it. Yet again, big hitboxes. That's kind of the faulty right here, pretty much. The big hitboxes just ruined it for 
for Alpha Dash. He looks kind of flustered. I mean, I don't know how many people play Sheik in UK. I mean, it's not a very common character. There's Beer Taro, for sure. Air but does he R23 PM? also? In PM. Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, good question. I don't, I'm not sure a lot of people like. Usually, people like to go on PM and switch character because they're tired of new character. You want to use a different one because they're a lot are really strong. Yeah. They all are strong. So, of course, you want to change. And yeah, I'm not sure they, they, they use like melee, melee character. So now, final destination. All right, <laughs> both of them starting, but they're virtual B like right away. AD making your wall. Little Spiner, you can really come in and I cover my four there, and you still trap in the edge. Normal platform you can see right now. He knows like he gets trapped a lot by the platform like earlier during the match. Like people playing a lot with that. Now, no more of that. So first things off, like things are going way slower than the previous game, uh, as we can see right now. But I still feel like either a character switch might have worked better, or you know, just in general, Sheik is just such a good time with like playing around with uh, Rob's square-like hitbox. He hits everything on him. Nice. It's kind of like a Mewtwo, mainly Mewtwo in this is a huge hitbox. You can hit him whenever you want. Mm, nice. Ripper gets good AD, but AD cover really well that uh, neutral B. Ripper is really patient, nice up here, but oh, not, not kill. Yeah, Ripper is like, you can see he's not used to. It, it rather like playing like kind of like melee, you know? Yeah. Just making wall, just like playing neutral game. He's not trying some lot of combo, huge punish or anything. He's just playing squarely, like waiting in this shield, counter attacking. When AD making a bad move, trying to punish him, but it's not like rushing or trying some crazy stuff. It's just like it's playing, playing the matchup pretty much right because you don't want to run in, get hit by, for example, the down smash. It's not a peach down smash, but it's very similar to it. It's like a weaker version in that sense. Nice spin. Yeah, right now I like what Alpha Death is doing. He like, needs to keep stage. Like once he loses ground, that's when he, that's when it's over for him. Okay, maybe I think he just gave up that sock because, like, whatever. Maybe. Nice, nice. Also, another thing to note with with the late, like 3.5, I think they made all stages slightly taller in the ceiling, which makes it harder for Fox to kill upwards. That affects every other character that kills upwards. Nice back here. Oh, this would be enough. All right. Surprise! That kills you actually. Nice needle, really nice. Yeah, you can tell that Reaper is a middle player because you see the down smash usage. I do believe like down smash is not as strong. No oh, more! Oh my god! So nice! Got three charge! I got three needle for you, dude! Oh, oh shame grab? The... Mm, maybe it works only at low percent, but I didn't know that. Okay. 44 percent. Can you get something off of this? Nice. Forcing him to double jump that up tilt, but unfortunately he didn't recover after it. Yeah, I feel like Alpha Dash needs to, you know, wait a little bit, be more patient, because he's rushing in really fast right now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's his last talk, but that doesn't mean you should play not smart. Oh! Oh, I like it. Too bad. That was really close to being an awesome edge guard. Jab. Just what? <laughs> yeah, free percentage. I mean, what's he gonna do? It's Rob. Look at Fedash just saying no with his head, like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want this. Yeah, the troll is too slow. We're getting stopped at the four there. <gasps> oh my god, oh, they can get wow. just before him. And it is not his last duck, it seems. One. I like this. Two, yeah, that's. Three. You're done. I like that's the problem with this kind of recovery. He doesn't have a good way to switch back the ledge. But it is due to three ways to switch the Maybe he could have waited a little bit more. Oh, so okay. I don't know who to play Rob against Sheik, but I, I do know Sheik enough to play Ice Climbers against. Well, we'll see what happens. I, I, I don't know about this. Place. I mean, I know he plays Ice Climbers in melee, but... 
<laughs> I know somebody in the venue is probably cringing himself right now seeing this character. Oh, nice! But let's see. Like, I won't. I will give Alpha Dash the benefit of the doubt. Like, he might have have some figured out. The point is, like, usually you don't find a lot of players with experience who get ice climbers. But if a, if a German top players don't have an experience get ice climbers, Domling, this is bad for you. So I'm pretty sure Reaper is well prepared for yeah. that matchup. But he would know what to do. Uh, of ICs. The problem with ICs in this game, for the most part, they don't have a wall move. Oh, really? They don't. They only have handoffs. They got a foot stool. That's about everything they got. Yeah, you told us. Uh, yeah, before. and the ice blocks are useless. <laughs> almost. Like, I've, I've dabbled with them myself, and like. See, their grab is like worse as well. I'm like, that's it's, it's hilarious how, you know, they were turned into mortals pretty much. Hella, like, quick. Sorry. Uh, Reaper using a lot of his down smash to separate the bullseye creepers, you can see. Not, not right now because they already separ uh, separate. But you can see maybe on the on the new stock, like to make a really great use of that move. Like it is a multi hit, you can like push them away a bit for a bit. Oh, too bad, misses a B. Lost that stock. So now trapping them. Oh. Okay, oh, so end up. Oh, that was a good start. Like it's Oh, that was a really nice uh, neutral B to get him back once yeah. again. But finally, kind of messed up. I'm happy that he waited until uh, Reaper was on the ground. Because the problem with the Blizzard, you can jump over it. You can short up over it. So you have to be super smart with it. <gasps> I think that's it. Oh, Nana shit. was decent and like, it was over. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That smash though? 80% to 0%, not even a Pamel. Once again? What? Reaper! What's your fingers made of? It's either that or Ice Timer just didn't get anything good in this game. I guess that's why we don't see Ice Timer players. <laughs> when you get trapped, Reaper just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stand up. Yeah. Nice. Even if the D was the I was really nice. At that kind of percentage, you just lost your stock. It's yeah. not done yet. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking like Brawl Sheet right there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Nice, nice for Reaper. He saw the shield and you're gonna roll back and just go forward to still trap him on the edge. But I flash making a great job getting some space right now. I like that dash attack. Nice. The, the down smash was really smart. He get to Nana and if Alpha Dash can uh, like get close, he would have been hit also, so you got to take some space and let she hit Nana. That was nice. Yeah, oh, this could be big. I would have gone for one hand off at least, I think. Which is yeah, maybe a bit more percentage. Yeah, like, at this point, don't just do throw and smash, because it won't kill at this point. Come on, Alpha Dash, I believe. Try to get in, but getting stopped by that forwarder. Yeah, this is kind of hard to finish uh, Sheik on his landing, uh, uh, on the landing. Because that forward there, she can go so fast. A nice edge guard by Reaper. Just waiting for him to come. And no, you won't take the edge. You're dead. Thank you for the match. So, Reaper moving into top eight, into winners tonight. Good stuff. Like, 